In this video, we're going to be going over one of the most effective writing schemes in Madden 21. This is going to be very good in Madden 22 as well, especially with the fact that I think that running the ball is actually going to be a lot of, um, it's just going to be very effective in Madden 22. Uh, it was very good when we went to next gen from Madden 25, and I think it will be as well this year. So. Let's jump into the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe. I upload videos every day that can help you get better at this game, both on offense and defense. So if you're looking to get better, um, just hit the subscribe button. And we are doing uh, the split close offensive scheme. This is out of the Tampa Bay playbook. You can combine this with our split close offense out of the New England playbook if you want to combine some of the concepts. If you want to get the guide on split close, I would recommend the New England split close. It's very similar to this. Um, this has a little bit better of a running scheme, but you can base the guide covers all the passing. The New England guide covers all the passing. Today we're going to cover some of the running concepts out of split close. So we're going to start with fullback inside. Uh, as you see in my audibles, I've got power O. Uh, so I've got fullback inside and power O, two of the best runs in the game. And what you're going to see is this fullback inside zone is going to get really, really good blocking. So uh, typically you're going to get some type of uh, cover three Mabel when running this defense. You might get the user kind of standing right in there. But what you'll see is if you ID the user and you double team, the backside tackle, they're going to do a really good job at basically just opening up running lanes for your uh, for your for your run. Uh, really simple, really really effective. Let me show you again. So he's just standing here, and I just run full back inside, and as you see, you know I get a couple quick yards really easily. Now, if they um, the one thing I would tell you that you want to do in this formation is you, as a general rule, want to run at the user. So. You'll see if the user's standing over on this side, fullback inside is going to become really, really well or really good. Because and the reason why is because the line or the running back, the running back on this run, if you ID that mic, the running back should pick him up. So again, I just follow my my fullback, and as you can see, I can get an average of three to five yards every single time. In my opinion, if you can get a run to pop for three to five every time. That's a really good gain. Let me show it to you one more time, and then we'll go over the power O. So as you see here, and I can just follow. I can run this. The other cool part about it, fullback inside, is you can run this as an inside zone, but you can also run this as a sweep play. Um, and I'm blitzing a little bit more than I probably should uh, from this formation, just to kind of show you the best case. But you see something like this, you can run this like a sweep. If they run, if the user runs down the middle um, and they're able to get in, you can run this like a sweep. Now, if you're dealing with three three five wide a lot, and you want to run the ball. Uh, against it and they do a defense like that right there this is where i like to audible to the power O. same thing i do the mic now the pulling guard is going to basically this turns into quick base this turns into 45 quick base out of bunch or out of uh, not bunch but um out of trips uh tied in and remember like i said you want to run at the run at him so the user's on the right so i'm going power O. and as you see right there it's an automatic five yards even though i blitzed everybody on my team and really had you know pretty solid little run defense gap integrity from uh, the 335 wide. Let me show you it again, power O. And again, I'm just gonna glide and just follow my blocker right through the lane. And as you can see, it's really hard to blow this up with their user. It's actually harder, in my opinion, to blow up the power O from split close than it is to blow up the 45 quick base uh, out of trips tied in. So if, and let's say, so now they come over here. And let me just show you what power O looks like if they're over there. Um, you're going to see they're going to have a better chance to get through, but they often still won't. And the power row is really the bread and butter run. The fullback inside used to be the most powerful run out of this because the handoff was really quick. But this year, because of how good gap shooting is, um, the fullback inside run is okay, but it's really more you want to run it more like a fullback sweep uh, because most of the time the user is trying to shoot down through the center. And so if you can get outside before they shoot down on you, um, it's really good. Now, if you face like a basic front right here, either run is going to be very successful, as you see. Without gap shooting, the run is really hard to stop. So if they don't do a gap shoot where they're setting up a gap shoot where they're like saying, okay, I'm going to stand over this side, or I'm going to stand over here, that's that's where they're going to run into trouble. So you'll see here, split close, flip inside. That time they got through on me, but as you can see. Now another little thing you can do with this is let's say that they are shifting heavy on you left and you still want to run full back inside. You can run this like the quick base. I can go in and then do a little back cut, stop and go and get outside to the right. Now as you saw, again, that user shoot down. That's the biggest problem, uh, and that's why you want to generally run away from the user. So if you get something like that and you want to run quick base, this is really, really good, this little back cut and then get outside. We're not getting great blocking from our 
uh, our tackle and practice mode, but this is a lot better in, in the game mode than practice mode. And so I want to give you another play that you can run as well off of these run plays. But you'll see here if they get something like this, you know, look how look how good the sweep is. The sweeping out on both of these runs is actually probably a little better than uh, than it has been in years past because the edge does not um, get held as much in this formation. Now I want to show you kind of a play that you can go to that's really, really good against just the blitz and, and just something that you can do in combination with this. And that is the split close halfback slip screen. I really like this a lot. Um, and the reason why I like this so much is because if they're blitzing you heavy to stop the run, you, you do something like this, you know, you get that look right there. Now what they've got to do, and if you use a strategic motion, um, you'll see here that you see that X is on this fade and then um, circle is on this little dig. If I do a strategic motion like this maybe and try to just kind of block, put a block out there, now you'll see this little slip screen. There's no pressure on the quarterback. You got two lead blockers out in the open space. And this split, this specific split screen or slip screen has been probably the best slip screen in Madden for years. Um, it's really, really good, especially if you do this motion. This motion is something you would do as well if you were running this run. So now you get something like that and then you're just releasing the ball. Now, if you get a man read, you saw right there, I got a man-to-man, -man, uh, kind of man-to-man -man coverage. Um, if you get something like that, that's where I really like to, I always, my first read is always R1, um, actually on this. So if I can throw that right there, I'll throw it every single time. And most of the time, man is the best way to combat the screen game. But in this formation, another little trick that you can do is you can motion for net out in the back like this, and you get this little stack type look. So if they're running man to man, I could throw that out quick. And now I have a man beater attached to a screen. Another thing you can do, especially if they're running, like I said, a lot of man to man, is you can work some of these other routes. So I might want to motion, you know, I might, I might motion this guy and now you'll see I have a skinny post um, and I've got this fade route. So, you know, as a quarterback, let's say for example, let me give you another example here. So. Let's say they go to man and they shade coverage down. They're really trying to get in your face. They're trying to get press man, really put some pressure on you. That fade route to the X, all you're gonna do is just lob it up. Even if you're off your back foot, you'll typically be able to get that over the top. You just wanna make sure you're putting it where only a receiver can get it. Now, another little thing that you can do, let's say they shade coverage up in man. I just wanna show you this. Watch triangle. You will see that oftentimes, you can outrun them if they shade up. So on the cut, you're really just basically throwing this outside pass lead, and then you're really trying to get up feel with that screen. If you can, uh, another little trick is you can motion this guy to the left, and it's going to become basically like a little drag almost. And look how this works right here. See now he comes underneath everything, and it turns into almost a drag. So there's a lot of little tricks with the split, uh, the split close uh, scheme that you can use. The other thing is this creates quads to one side, four receiving threats to the right, which now means I can throw this little quick route to the back every single time against man. And so they have to respect both of those routes is what I'm getting at. They have to use her both of those routes is what I'm getting at as well, uh, especially if they run man cover. So this is a way that I like to run this. It kind of, um, one of the better ways that we used to be able to run this was we put a drag to the R1. This kind of creates that same idea of like an under screen. Um, it's really good against zone. So if you get this, um, because it doesn't make sense. Most defenses, most defenses are not going to think that guy is going to be on a screen pass. They're just thinking he's going to be on a route, maybe go to the flat, whatever. But now you see he's on a screen and you're just throwing it underneath. And now you've got all this room at which you can run after the catch. It's also really good. Um, last little uh, point here is it's really, really good against Mabel coverage. So, um, you know, I know a lot of you are like me and you get Mabel coverage all the time. This is a great play for that because the pressure from Mabel is not significant. They're only going to blitz two or three people. So you're going to have time in the pocket to let this set up, but you just wait on it, get him out there a little bit, and you'll see this develop really, really well for you. So this is something that you can use to kind of mix things up on people out of split close. Now, again, I don't want to, I don't want to dismiss the fact that you also still have your running back route. Okay, your running back route is going to be very consistent for you. But this little slip screen right here, little, you're really wanting to like throw it to the left. But look at how he gets inside. All those zones are to the outside, and now he's basically curling up to the inside. So if you're getting a lot of Mabel coverage. This is a great little play to go to um, if you want to be able to be successful against Mabel coverage. Um, another thing I want to show, last thing here, is 
you know, that same first motion, if we get it against Babel, um, you're going to see they're going to have a lot of time for this to set up, let it set up, and now you've got easy yardage against Mabel. This is one of my favorite little ways from this to beat Mabel coverage because it's so hard to stop it. Another little, and I guess i I got to give one more tip. So another little thing that you can do uh, from this is basically when you motion this guy out uh, to the right side here and you slide, their user is often going to go to the left side if they notice that that's a screen. Your running back route, just when he cuts to the flat, just throw it outside. It just check it down. Easy five yards. Uh, very difficult to stop that route. So this is going to be paired with some other concepts, but this is a very good way to run this split close halfback slip screen. There's kind of two ways that you can run this. Um, you know, one other little way that you can, and again, I just want you to go crazy. When you're running this offense, go crazy with the motion snaps. So what you can do is you can also motion this guy to the left. And basically now it's just snap, throw it out there. And, you know, it's kind of a delay ghost type route. Gets underneath a lot of zone coverage. Really, really good against Mabel. And then let's say you're getting that heavy man-to-man. -man. You can motion Fournette to the left. So they might be thinking, oh, he's setting up a screen. You know, maybe some other screens we're going to talk about later in this guide. But now you've got this little crossing route that is really, really good against man as long as you can make the throw. Um, the throw is hard, especially if you're getting a lot of man pressure. Like if you're getting a lot of pressure out of man, it is a hard throw. But let me just show you. And again, we talked about the fact that we can beat man by motion the other back out there. But this is like you really got to kind of keep your feet. You know, you got to kind of keep your feet down. But if you can keep your feet, you know, in a good in a good spot on this throw, um, this can be really, really good. Another little thing here is like, let's say you get cover zero, you can always lob this up to circle. Uh, as you can see right there, again, you really want to try to kind of get this out there so you don't have any issue, uh, any issue with your, with your throwing mechanics. But, you know, this offense is a lot of fun. It's really creative. There's a lot you can do with it. Um, you can, like I said, just roll out, kind of get that out there. And again, Brady's kind of screwing me up on the throw. But just be aware that that's an option. You might see that more as like a, uh, a snap throw. And the one problem is this is going right across the user's face. But this will probably pull the user as well. And look at that. See how it gives that little cross? And this makes this very successful against man because you basically created trips to the left, doubles to the right, as opposed to quads right. And you see, so you're getting, let me show you one more time against man. Watch the man assignment. That'll probably give a little bit more. Uh, of an understanding. So you see here, triangles and man on, on him. So it's going to cause a man switch. You see the man switch, throw it out there, and now it hesitates, brings him inside, and allows you to really kill man coverage. So even if you can't throw that route, it does help open up the slip screen for you. So anyways, this screenplay is a lot of fun, especially when you combine it with the fact that you've got the best, I think the best run from shotgun. This power O is so hard to blow up with your user. It really truly is. I've played people in money games that like to run this. The one thing I would say, will, will say is if they have linebackers there, you might want to just use some motion. You'll see that by using motion, this will create a lot more alleys for me to be able to run. So mess around with that a little bit. But all in all, this, this offense is a lot of fun. So if you want to get the, the full split close offensive guide that's in my New England Patriots playbook, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description, and you can pick that up and kind of get going on this. This offense is going to be really good next year uh, because of the balance that it's going to bring to the table. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get my split-close offensive system, it's down in the description.